Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everybody, some unfortunate news just hit the internet. This year's E3 event has been completely canceled. E3 2022 has been canceled, everybody, and this news comes directly from IGN.com. Here's the official report. The ESA has shared an official statement with IGN confirming E3 2022's cancellation and announcing that E3 will return in 2023 with a reinvigorating showcase. We will devote all of our energy and resources to delivering a revitalized physical and digital E3 experience next summer. Whether enjoyed from the show floor or your favorite devices, the 2023 showcase will bring the community, media, and industry back together in an all-new format and interactive experience. We look forward to presenting E3 to fans around the world from Los Angeles in 2023. The ESA adds that the 2022 showcase has been canceled so the organization can focus its resources on the 2023 show. Alright, this is very unfortunate and very strange at the same time. Now, I could kind of understand why they canceled the in-person event because of this so-called pandemic, but at the same time, you have live sporting events going on every single day, so I'm kind of indifferent about that. But you mean to tell me that you're going to cancel the digital event as well and your reasoning behind that is because you want to devote all of your resources to the 2023 show? No, I'm not buying that answer at all. I think the ESA has something else going on behind the scenes that they're not going to tell us. And this is just very weird. Now, Nintendo fans don't have to worry because Nintendo has their own summer direct every single year. So we don't have to worry about that. But other companies may have to reconsider what they're going to do this summer. Now, there is something called the Summer's Game Fest hosted by Jeff Keighley. So I'm pretty sure a lot of companies will utilize that as their format. But man, this whole E3 situation is very awkward. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And please, make sure to like and share this video. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.